Manchester City 6, Aston Villa 1 is how it finished at Villa Park today. City brilliant, moving up to second in the table. Still though, 14 points adrift of Liverpool at the top. Liverpool have a game in hand as well. A special day for Kun Aguero, who became the top foreign goal scorer in the Premier League. His hat trick uh, puts him now two above Thierry Henry. 177 goals for the Argentine striker. Uh, an, an incredible record, Craig, from, from a striker who just seems to have done it all in the Premier League. Yeah, and I think it was... Uh... Also, the most hat tricks. Yes, above yeah, twelve, I think. Uh, now, isn't twelve it? above Alan Shearer, uh, who, uh, who, by the way, was able to do it with Southampton, <laughs> Blackburn, yep. and Newcastle teams. Certainly, uh, the, the first and the latter, who were nowhere near as dominant as Manchester City. Not, not to take anything away from Aguero, he's been uh, uber consistent in his time there. We wondered whether, when Guardiola came in, whether the two of them would be able to see eye to eye. They absolutely have, and, and quite frankly, just can't do without them. It's interesting, Craig brings up the point with Pep, because when Jesus came in, there was a theory that maybe Jesus was more of a Pep striker and that he would work harder, but couldn't kind of put that to one side and just carried on. Well, you put it to one side when you keep scoring goals, yeah. and that's exactly what Kun Aguero has done. We've also seen that when he's absent, when he's had his injuries, when he had time away, that Gabriel Jesus is a nice piece to have, but he cannot be the guy. It's a, it's a nice guy to have out there on the yeah. field. It's a nice option. He may score a goal here and there, but he cannot be the guy that, that carries that responsibility. Kun Aguero has been that guy for many years now. And I think what's most impressive about him in the Manchester City time is that he's gone through many managers. And Pep Guardiola did come in with, I think, a different mindset as to what he wanted up there. And yet Kun Aguero showed flexibility, showed strength, showed character, and by the way, showed productivity. And that's why he's still playing. That's why he's still scoring goals, because this guy, there is a competitiveness about him that puts him a level above everybody else. And there's a hunger about scoring goals that just doesn't go away from Kun Aguero. It may go away from other guys, but not from Kun Aguero. Frank, how would you go about, how would you relish the challenge of defending Kun Aguero? Well, I must be horrible for the, for the defenders because the body type of uh, Aguero is everything against a defender, a normal defender, uh, pretty tall, like 6'1". Six, 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 uh, six and, uh, and, and it's always hard to, to cope with those players. It's the type of player you're going to find mostly on the side, like you have Bernardo Silva, for example, or even David Silva, a little bit uh, behind him. Uh, but when you are confronted as a defender uh, to somebody with a body type like Aguero, you know that you're going to suffer the whole day long because you can't really touch him. Uh, he's going to fall very quickly. Uh, you can't <coughs> really stop him because they're very fast. They can turn very quickly. So it's, it's really uh, players that you want to avoid, like I used to know, like uh, Michael Owen, for example, players like that. Um, fantastic career, fantastic player, hard to cope with. I mean, we remember that when, when we put the, the top players of the decade, he was named by any yeah. talent that uh, we asked the question to. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.